two workers entered this manure spreader's tank to rescue a third worker, they would come perilously close to tragedy. Liquid manure spreaders are used on farms to fertilize fields. They can also pose a serious hazard. What makes entering a manure tank so dangerous is that the fermentation of manure can produce toxic gases and an atmosphere so low in oxygen there's not enough to breathe. Just one breath can make you lose consciousness. A manure spreader's tank is considered a confined space, which is an enclosed or partially enclosed area that is big enough for a worker to enter. Confined spaces are not designed for someone to work in regularly, but entry may be needed for inspection, cleaning, maintenance, or repair. A small opening or obstructions inside can make entry and exit, as well as rescue, difficult. In the incident, while a manure spreader was being filled with liquid manure, the rubber discharge hose at the end of the loading pipe fell into the tank. Since the hose might damage the pump inside the tank, worker one drained the manure from the tank through a drain hatch. He tried, but was unable to retrieve the hose through the hatch. Worker one told worker two that he was going to fish the piece out. Worker one climbed inside the tank and made his way to the front, where he found the hose and then threw it toward the back. While attempting to exit the tank, he lost consciousness. Minutes later, worker two noticed worker one's spreader had not moved. He looked for worker one, and from the top of the spreader, he heard muffling and gurgling sounds inside the tank. Worker two took a couple of deep breaths and entered the tank. Unable to get past a baffle inside, he exited the tank. Worker three arrived and saw worker two waving for help. Worker two re-entered the tank, followed by worker three. They pulled worker one toward the opening and with the help of a fourth worker and the use of a rope out of the tank. The workers made it out alive, but time and again, untrained and unprepared workers who have entered confined spaces along with their would-be rescuers have perished. For a confined space like a manure tank, testing the air, ventilating the space, and having a rescue plan can make the difference between living or dying. Workers must not be allowed to enter confined spaces unless proper training, equipment, and procedures are in place. Several factors contributed to this incident, including 1. The manufacturer's instructions not to enter the tank weren't followed. The employer didn't make the spreader's instruction manual, which indicated the dangers of entering the tank readily available to workers, and didn't ensure worker 1 was familiar with the instructions. Two, the employer failed to adequately train and instruct worker one in regard to confined spaces and didn't have a confined space entry program, which is required before workers can perform work in a confined space. Three, workplace health and safety management was inadequate. The employer failed to conduct regular safety meetings and inspections and didn't have a first aid attendant at the work site. Confined spaces can be deadly spaces. Too many farm workers have lost their lives in them. Identify confined spaces in your workplace. Know the hazards as well as the procedures to keep safe. <laughs>